Good day, Sir Charles. Uh, good day, Rhiannon. It is Lord Charles. I'm the King's Chancellor of Foreign Affairs at your service. Today, we are in the village of Fairhaven, and we'll be exploring the, the scientific advancements of the Renaissance, as well as the very origins of the scientific method itself. So let us go to the feast hall. All right, let's go. You can start to see it coming through now, and we actually have a sunspot here. If you look there, that little black dot right on the sun there, yeah. that is a sunspot. And that sunspot's about the size of the Earth. Watch how that image of the sun moves. That's because the Earth is spinning. So what does this have to do with the Renaissance Festival? This brings to light the discoveries that Galileo made. He discovered the four giant moons of Jupiter, and then he discovered that Venus went through phases, and that's his most important discovery. That is the first observational proof that the sun is in the center of the solar system. All Galileo the da Vinci, how are you today? My lady. She's very kind to know our names. Yes. Oh, I was just talking with Tony. Tony? Yes, he's, he's a resident he's stargazer here at the Renaissance Festival. He doesn't no, no, sound no, Italian no, to me. No, we, we, we never heard it. This Tony guy, I don't know. Friend Master of yours Galileo. must be one of your paisans, one of those idiots Probably that you hang around. Master neighbor. Galileo. Huh? Tony was just telling me that you discovered the phases of Venus and the moons of Jupiter. Why is that important? The phases of Venus are the most important because they prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that the sun does not go around the earth. The earth goes around the sun. All we're waiting for is the sun to go behind the clouds, right? No, in front of the clouds, right? Then we'll have a sunny day? The sun isn't going any place. We're going around the sun. Oh, see, that's why you're in big trouble with the Pope. He's a crazy. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, have hey. a lovely day. Buena sera. All right, bye. Arrivederci. She's a lovely girl. How did you get it? Well, you know, it's not the rat's fault, you know. It was the fleas. Okay. They bit the rat, and then they bit me, and this is what happened. By any chance, is it contagious? It's very contagious. Huh? Ah! <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing great. Awesome. What are you making? I'm making a key ring with a leaf on it. Okay. And normally, the blacksmith would have made any of the uh, steel items that people would have used in their daily life. So, what's the process behind making, say, a horseshoe or a leaf? Uh, for a horseshoe, you should be able to make a set of four in about half an hour. The process, you start out with iron or steel bar, and you would actually you would heat it in your forge. And in this case, I'm going to make a small replica of a horseshoe. You need to change its shape. So that would be the, the tapered end of the horseshoe. So what's the difference between a whitesmith and a blacksmith? The blacksmith is the man that works with iron, the black metal. The whitesmith would be the coppersmith or the tinsmith. He would work with any metal other than iron. So now if you were a blacksmith, what would you like to make? Hmm, well, the horseshoes look fairly easy to make. I'm going for the easiest thing. <laughs> It's obviously too small for any real horses, but it's for you. Good luck. Thank you You're very welcome. much. Have a nice day. You too. Hi. Good day. I hope you had a wondrous time this day. Oh my gosh. I got to meet Galileo da Vinci. I got this from a blacksmith. Oh, that is most wondrous. As you see, the science that was developed during the Renaissance not only changed the world, but continues to influence modern society. There's so much more to see here at the Renaissance Festival, so I'm going to check it out. Thank you so much for inviting me to your village. Please go explore the festival. All right, bye.